Hey my gators, welcome back to Hot DIY and Save a Dime. Today is another food haul and I'm going to share with you the things I got. We needed some staples once again, so I'll show you the staples. We're going to put the staples on the left and then we're going to put the other things that just were needed in regards to, um, you know, things that we ran out of that aren't really staples, but we kind of use them. Maybe they are. I don't know. Keep watching. All right, I'm going to empty bag number one first. Let's see what's in bag number two. Okay, so <laughs> this was, where did I put it? This was 47.61. Um, we don't eat meat every day, but I do have some roasted chicken. So we are having roasted chicken. And because it's only us, um, I can stretch a pack of chicken a little bit longer and since we don't eat meat every day I don't buy meat all the time we try to eat a lot of fruits and stuff like that so let's talk about what you have here it was 4761 4761 and um, y'all I have my cash app card um, locked what I try to do is use cash app because I know that I'm transferring it from my account once my money comes in, you know, throughout the month, I transfer it to the cash app as needed. Or if I have cash on hand and I did something or I sold something in the house, I utilize the cash that way. I did have cash in my envelope, but it definitely wasn't enough to cover this. So I just went and used um, my cash app. Now that's extra cash that's just been accumulated from different weeks. Um, but I didn't put the 50 in for this week. So I just use cash app. So I know I only have basically $2 and like 38 cent. <laughs> All right. 39 cent. All right. So plus the change in there if I need something else. So we're going to start from this side. I was just literally craving a cantaloupe. These are $2.49 a piece now. I didn't do you guys shop with me because I had to run in and out and Rizzy sat in the car. Now, this is not something I would actually buy and I did not want to use all my goodies for this. She has to do a demonstration project. Project. So, this and this and the strawberries are going to school with her. Well, actually, we're making those tonight um, only because... Uh, for what she needed for, I'm not using all my good chocolate and all my good cocoa and all that to do those. We're going to get these and make them out the box, which was $1.19, which is cheaper. She's going to be doing a, um, uh, marshmallow, strawberry, brownie, kebab, and then she's going to drizzle like this white chocolate on them. She's going to show them how to make them and they're going to make them. So basically she has to do a, um, demonstration of something and then the uh, students in the class are going to follow. So we got all that. I got some white chocolate melts and I have the skewers that she's going to take. So that was extra. These were three sixty nine. Hold on. Those grapes were three strawberries, strawberries, strawberries. Oh, they went down. They were $2.69 a piece. So I got two of those. This was $1.19. And the marshmallows, I think, were only, let's see, $0.99. Cent. So technically, that is five forty sixty six sixty seven sixty of the actual grocery haul that was not a part of it so if you take the 760 away and what i have left of the 239 so we got what seven eight nine seven six seven, almost eight dollars left for this week's budget still that i could utilize now my oils are low i had to get both of the oils I haven't been able to get lucky at TJ Maxx and find my avocado oil. Avocado oil is too high at Aldi, so I don't buy it. So my grapeseed oil is low and my olive oil is low. So I went and bought one of each of those. Um, so that was needed. And that is an actual staple that is needed to cook and do everything um, throughout the week and stuff like that. So definitely needed. Um... It's a difference between staples that you have and staples that are like pantry items that you need, like flour, sugar, oil, stuff like that. 
those are a different type of staple. These are staples every day. You know what your family likes, what they like to snack on, what we like to have readily available. These are those staples. So over here, we have some cuties. We have some lemons. We have some Haverty's cheese. And we have some honey turkey breast. She loves to make sandwiches. And then she has to have... <laughs> Her vanilla yogurt. I need to start making my own yogurt. This is $3.69. And she goes through one at least every week, right? So, also, y'all know I usually get the big gallon of orange juice. I did not do that this time. I'm going to tell you why. There is still some in here. And we haven't been using it as much as we do. So, I said I'm just going to go with this. Which is $3.09, I think, or $3.49. So I just went with this, and with that being said, this is literally still, you know, going to push pull us through the week. Because remember, I said buying this gallon is much cheaper. Um, you get more juice for less money, but we didn't need the gallon. I didn't need two big gallons in my refrigerator, so I just went with this. Um, we love to have grapes on hand, so I clean these. I put them in the refrigerator, so when we go in the refrigerator. I'm not having things that are bad readily available. I'm having these type of things readily available. So I'll be cleaning these and cutting up the cantaloupe, putting them in containers and having them there just to eat. Now, I make her homemade granola. It's in a bean jar, so ignore it. Um, I just made her some more yesterday and she already ate. <laughs> this was full, full. Um, so I make homemade granola. If you don't know, remind me. I can leave the link to how I make my homemade granola. And I make it with old-fashioned oats. And guess what? Our oats, we're actually having oatmeal with our chicken tonight, is gone. So I need to refill that. So I don't just buy stuff just because I want it and I try not to go to store with a full stomach. Um, remember the last video I tried? I told you guys I was going to try the instant brown rice. Ill, no, couldn't do it, wouldn't work, didn't work out. So I got double back guarantee. They gave me the money for the instant rice and then I got this for free. So that's that. Um, and then I also returned two cans of oysters because I realized now they're farm raising their oysters. And so I took those back and that was like $2.98 for two. Um, so I did get money back for that, which is in the little envelope. And so that would have went on this to drop it down, but I just put it in the envelope and I just transferred 50 and did this. So this was 47.61 and this is my haul for the week. And I will put the amount there. I would put what it would be if I didn't have this minus this. Um, yeah, because that actually is the only thing that I can say should be minus. And if I would minus the basmati rice and the two oyster things, how much this total haul would be. You will see this on the screen somewhere. So I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Just giving you more information on how to shop, how to shop reasonably and not waste food because when you buy stuff and you're hungry, you get it, you don't like it or you buy too much because your eyes are bigger than your stomach and then you find yourself um, wasting money. So try to eat before you go to the grocery store or drink because a lot of times you might think you're hungry, but you are dehydrated. So try to drink or put something in your belly before you go to the grocery store. So that way you're not impulse buying. And as you see, there was no impulse buying done. I bought the things we needed. We are down to our last lemon. Definitely needed that. I think we have like six or seven cuties left since I'm shopping today and I'm not going back for a week. I might as well get them now. So that's why I got that. And she told me yesterday we didn't have any cheese. So that's why I got that. And I think I explained everything on here. So I will see you guys, Lady Gators. I thank you guys for joining. I thank you guys for your beautiful comments. I thank you guys for all of the new family members who have joined my family. Talk to me below. Tell me what other type of budget and videos you want to see um, me share with you. Because I definitely can do so. And I will see you guys in the next video. Lady Gators.